Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah In the last sitting we talked about Tawheed so it only seems uh, befitting that we talk about Shirk uh, and Shirk is the opposite of Tawheed Tawheed, uh, monotheism and Shirk meaning polytheism and as Imam Muhammad rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatun wasiya said Al-A'zam that the greatest thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded with is Tawheed, is monotheism. And the greatest thing or the most severe thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibited us from is shirk, polytheism. And so, the issue that arises when we talk about shirk, uh, shirk, <coughs> as most of the ulama divide it into uh, various categories. And a shirk yan qasam ila thalatha aqsam, shirk al-akbar, shirk al-askar, wa shirk al-khafi, wa shirk khafi. Uh, some of the scholars, they divide shirk into three types, or three categories. Shirk al-akbar, the major shirk, which takes you out of the fold of Islam. Shirk al-askar, the minor shirk, which is a major sin, but it is it does not take you out of the fold of Islam. And shirk khafi, which is also uh, a type of the minor shirk. Uh, so most of the ulama, they hold the view that shirk is of two types. Akbar wa askar, major and minor. فالأكبر هو هو الشرك في ربوبية وألوهية ولا يغفره إلا توبة وهو الذي يناقض أصل التوحيد والإيمان. So shirk al-akbar, it is... Uh, it can be shirk in ruwiyah or shirk in uluhiyah. Uh, shirk in the lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, polytheism, associating partners in his lordship, or shirk in uh, ibadah, in worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the major shirk, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive it unless the person makes tawbah. So the person must make tawbah Repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for them to be forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that major shirk. And this shirk, this major shirk, yunaqid asla tawheed. This is very important for us to understand. That major shirk, it negates the foundation of tawheed, the origin of tawheed, the asl of tawheed, and iman. Meaning it's the direct opposite. When we talk about monotheism, Complete monotheism or, or monotheism, Tawheed, and then we have Shirk, polytheism. Of course, they are the opposite. Polytheistic beliefs and monotheistic beliefs are opposites. Monotheism uh, denotes that worshiping only one God, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's none worthy of worship except Allah. That's the Islamic monotheism. And likewise, uh, 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 polytheism, or in contrast, polytheism is worshipping along with Allah a partner, or worshipping other than Allah. So, that gives us uh, an indication of what we're, we're talking about. So, this is shirk al-akbar. So, it negates tawheed completely, and it negates uh, iman in totality, because iman is faith. So, the opposite of iman is kufr. أما شرك الربوبية بأن يجعل لغيره معه تدبير ما كما قال سبحانه وتعالى كل ادعو كد كل 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 ادعو الذين زعمتم من دون الله لا لا يملكون مثقال ذرة في سموات ولا في الأرض وما لهم فيهما من شرك وما له منهم Min Dahir. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al Saba, verse 22, that uh, he says, Say to the, uh, the Prophet, وسلم, call upon those, and this was for the Prophet وسلم, to address the pagans, call upon those whom you assert to, be, to uh, be associate gods besides Allah. They possess not even an Adam's weight or even a small ant's weight, either in the heavens or in the earth, nor have they any share in either, nor there is for him any supporter from amongst them. 
uh, before we continue on with this discussion, it's very important to ponder on this ayat. And I recall in my early days of Islam, when we used to be out on the streets and give dawah, and often we would talk with uh, people from the Nation of Islam, or the uh, another group that's a paganistic group, which is the um, Five Percenters. And they address themselves as gods, and they say their belief, their aqidah is that uh, the black man is God and the black woman is, um, she is earth, I, I, I'm not exactly sure. And anyhow, that, you know, so they would give themselves names like Allah and give themselves, you know, they were the most ignorant in the creation to have such pride in shirk. Because they would call themselves with boldness, call themselves gods and call themselves uh, Allah. And we used to discuss with these guys and say, how can you say this? How can you claim that? When you cannot even prevent, and this is in accordance with this ayat, that they, whoever they call upon other than Allah, or calling and addressing one another, they don't possess even an atom's weight uh, in the heavens or earth. They don't possess anything. And we used to discuss with them and say, you don't even possess the ability to necessarily control your bowel movements if you become very sick. You cannot prevent your death. When you die, you cannot come back. You know, what, what do you possess? You cannot create a fly, but yet you believe that you can call yourself Allah or God. So it shows how shirk can even make a, a person suffer a type of spiritual dementia with regards to who they believe they are. So this is the danger, one of the dangers of shirk. And until the next sitting, we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, and we'll continue on in talking about shirk. Wassalamu alaikum wa sallam ala Muhammad.